Is Cosmic Fury the best season of Power Rangers in over 14 years? I have to say yes. We are going to talk about it, break it down, and tell you why I feel this way. Hit that intro, Rangers. You are watching the fan club. You're watching the fan club. And you're watching the fan club. Do you know what time it is? And you know what time it is. It's time for the fan club. Let's go. Hey! I can't do this on my own, because you know they What's going on, everyone? Welcome to the fan club. It's your boy, Braz, Dan Brosnan, in the building. Now, there was good. There were some minor things I would have worked on with Cosmic Fury, but overall, I thought it was a really decent show. I give it an 8 or 9 out of 10. Personally, as a fan, I give it like a 10 out of 10, but I have to be realistic. I can't just say it's completely perfect when there were a few flaws and things that could have been ironed out. But to do all of this in 10 episodes and actually have it make sense and look stunning, I thought it was great. I thought for what they were working with, it was a 10 out of 10. And today I wanted to ask the question, is this the best season since Power Rangers RPM? Now, I believe it is the only season I think maybe you could argue is better is what season two of Dino Fury that had more episodes and it was able to kind of come in at a slower pace because it had more episodes. But I loved the fast pace of Cosmic Fury. I thought it was freaking amazing. I don't think there's one Neo Saban season that is better than Cosmic Fury. Beast Morphers was really good, but I still don't think that was better than the newest season. I think you have to go all the way back to Power Rangers RPM to say that that season was better. Now, RPM had a full, what, 40-something episodes. It got to develop all the characters, and there were flaws in that, too. I believe one of the directors or writers, somebody left in the middle of the show, and then they had to be replaced by somebody else. You could tell that the second guy coming in had a different way of doing things, and some of the things that the first storyteller was trying to do got forgotten about, and the dots never got connected. But I thought Cosmic Fury really was an overall amazing 10-part mini-series, if you will. Do you call it a full season? I don't know, but it was awesome. And Dino Fury Season 2 was awesome, but I think Cosmic Fury was one of the best Power Ranger things we've gotten since rpm and that is saying something because rpm was one of the best power ranger seasons of all time now when it came out the marketing on it was awful nobody knew it was out but a few years later after i watched it i was like holy crap i wish i would have known about this before this was great now, what are your guys' thoughts on Cosmic Fury? Did you think it was one of the best seasons since RPM? Let me know in the comments. Speaking of the comments, let's see what the fans are saying. Kiki said, I really enjoyed Cosmic Fury, a masterpiece. Amelia becoming the Red Ranger, Cosmic Fury weapons, Billy's mentoring. This is all so great. I agree. I thought it was a really fun time and they had to jam pack it real quick because there is only 10 episodes. I wish there was 20, but I thought they did a really good job with what they were given. It's almost like you're grading it on a curve because you know all of the things that were going on behind the scenes. Joseph said, I'm hoping that the reboot will be like Cosmic Fury, adapt monsters and zords from the Super Sentai, but create original suits, original plot, and original villains. That would be pretty wicked. I don't know what they're going to do. That is a possibility. It could be pretty original. Yusuf said, the good parts of Cosmic Furies were episode one through eight it starts to get a little worse episode 9 and 10 in my opinion the ending was horrible 
Yeah, I see some people don't like the ending. I kind of thought it was cool. It was different. Where the only one that could stop it was Lord Zed himself. Instead of a mega battle, they had to get on his level and explain it to him like, yo, you're going to destroy all the good. And even though you think that's a good thing, you're going to be destroyed too. So it was cool. I liked how they played with that. Now, some people didn't necessarily like it, but I respect it. I can't tell you what to like or what not to like. Savage Sal said, I'm shocked Hasbro hasn't done a full Cosmic Fury toy line. You can make so much money on the role play weapons and toys and figures and Zords. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Even Simon said that when they were creating the designs for the suits, they had all intentions of giving us figures. Now we hear behind the scenes that there are some rumors that they could be coming out next month or in December or at least announced. We will keep our eyes open. Be there every step of the way. John B said, I enjoyed the show. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. I felt season 2 of Dino Fury was a better season than Cosmic Fury just for the fact that Lord Zed should have had more fighting in Cosmic Fury and the ending should have been an epic battle fighting him. I understand your concerns. I think everybody wanted this epic battle with someone being destroyed at the end, but I think they had to change it a few different ways, and I wonder if there was a second ending to this. Interesting. Like, did they have two, three, four endings that were planned out? It's very interesting. Ryan said the tone of the show was good and there are some parts that could have been done in Dino Fury. My opinion of what I don't like is going to make a lot of people angry. I don't like the idea of Amelia being the Red Ranger because it just feels off, but I love her character. It's just the color swapping that I don't like. Well, they couldn't really make Zato the Red Ranger. Somebody else had to be a Red Ranger. So it, even if it was Ion or Javi or Izzy, somebody was going to change colors. And I mean, they've been color swapping forever. How many dang versions of Power Ranger variations has Tommy been, right? From green to white to couple reds to black. Like, they definitely switch. I mean, in, in space, they switched the colors up from what it was in Turbo I don't really mind too much as long as the show is good. But what are your guys' thoughts? Let me know in the comments. Shout out all of the fans out there that take the time out of their day to watch this content. You are the real MVPs and the reason why we can still continue to make videos like this. So thank you guys so much. Y'all have a great weekend and we'll see you next time, Rangers. Peace. I want to give a special shout out to the Gold Ranger members, Anime King Nick, Chaos Draco, The Arctic Operator, Dig Wyron, Tim Rage, Roderick Hare, Miguel Ortiz, Let's Talk Sports, Papleon Oger, Roderick Ham, Jason Morazis, Willie Maloney, Lewis Cairns, Salima Ramirez, Danny Nascimento, Skurd, Stephen Heffelman, Thomas Franco, Savage Sal, Tim Brown, Sean Schiffer, The Cosmic Nerd 24, Bruce Walters, and Austin White. Thank you guys so much for your support. And if you want a video shout out like this one, sign up to be a Gold Ranger member today. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this content, you know what to do. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. You can also become a member Please join the fan club support team right now. We have a Blue Ranger power up and a Gold Ranger power up. This is an awesome way to talk with the fans. Join a fan club official chat group. You can also be featured in our videos. At the end of the videos, I will shout you out. That's if you get the Gold Ranger power up membership. Go check it out. Go support the fan club. We love you guys, and thanks for watching. Peace. Hi. Hi. We're Bulk and Skull. We, we have are been requested, requested by, by the, the fan club, club to say, say something, something funny. funny.